Hello brothers and sisters, my name is Cameron and I am here to share with you four things that are pagan that the Jehovah's Witnesses partake in. I myself, if you're new to the channel, was born and raised in the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses and shunned doing holidays, a lot of you know, practices like <laughs> clinging glasses together during uh, cheers and, and, and not celebrating my own birthday and doing a lot of things that the outside normal people do because Jehovah's Witnesses said it had pagan roots. Exciting news, I'm here to bring to you four things that Jehovah's Witnesses partake in that are pagan, despite them wanting their inside members to shun all of these. The first thing on my list is having to do with weddings. So, wedding rings, um, <laughs> the white wedding dress, the wedding cake, those are all pagan, they all have pagan origins. It's Revelation, it's Grand Climax, chapter 33, page 236. I'll have some links down to this stuff below. A lot of this information is pulled from jwfax.com. I found it very interesting that a wedding ring has pagan origins, the cake, the, the dress, the veil, but yet you're not allowed to celebrate holidays. And they willingly look the other way. The second thing on the list is something that definitely stands out to me as being a guy is a, a necktie. I, I love wearing neckties. I, I like wearing suits. Growing up wearing suits and going door to door and pioneering and auxiliary pioneering and, and working with Bethelites and pioneers, we all wore ties. Well, ties have ties to the Roman military. If you Google it, you'll find some evidence that it, it does have tie to military, where it origin, originated in the where it originated in the 1700s, but we're allowed to wear pagan wedding ties and ties when we go door to door preaching the word of God. Doesn't make any sense. The third thing on the list is seriously, go to Google right now and type in baby showers. I've talked about this before on my debunking videos about birthdays and holidays. Well, if you Google baby shower, it's a pre-birthday birthday and this has a ton of ties to non-biblical churches. This is really interesting that baby showers are totally okay to celebrate and they're showering the person with gifts as a pre-birthday birthday. And then if you also check out the chapter where uh, Jesus was born, the angels were celebrating anyway, so I have a birthday thing on that one. The fourth thing on the list, this one was mind-blowing to me because disfellowshipping, excommunication, marking someone as an SP in Scientology, uh, Mormonism, all of these cults, and only cults do this, they excommunicate or expel their own members, it in itself is pagan, has pagan roots. This, not come from the Bible. So this was introduced, I've got my notes here, in the 1940s and 50s, despite the 1947 Awake explaining the pagan origins of this practice. In the Awake 1947, January 8th, page 27, it quotes the Encyclopedia Britannica saying, excommunication is not without pagan influence, and its variations cannot be adequately explained unless account taken by several non-Christian analogs of excommunication. The superstitious Greeks believe that when excommunicated people, an excommunicated person died, the devil entered the body, and therefore, in order to prevent it, the relatives of the deceased cut his body in pieces and boil them in wine. Even the Druids had a method of expelling those who lost faith in their religious superstitions. It was therefore after Catholicism adopted its pagan practices AD 325 that this new chapter in religious excommunication was written. So the next time you encounter a Jehovah's Witness and they protest that holidays or whatever custom that the governing body decides is pagan, you say something along the words like, wait a minute, I'm confused. Wedding rings, neckties, baby showers, disfellowship being excommunication, those all have pagan origins too. So why one and not the others? Why the double standard? Doing these videos is a lot of fun. And I wanted to talk to you something that's been on my mind for a while now is starting a Patreon account. A lot of XJWs and other YouTubers that I look up to that are outside of the world of cults and survivors and activism have Patreon accounts because number one, YouTube is really cut down on the monetization. And number one, yes, my videos are monetized. And I was hoping to make a little bit of money to further my activism. You know building a website, making PDFs so that way you guys can have conversations with your loved ones and be able to help them escape. There's a lot of techniques I've learned that work really, really well. Talking to those that come to your door or at the carts. There's a lot of information that you can peacefully talk to these people and I want to provide it and make it available to you guys. In order to do that, I need some more support. If I do a Patreon account, would you be interested in supporting? Let me know in the comments below. 
I'm super excited about it. Plus, I have some other ideas of, of bringing content to you and help support the channel. A lot of this stuff is a lot of work, but I think it's worth it, and it's something that I want to keep going forward with and push the activism as far as I can and do things that have not been done before. Also, the memorial is coming up of 2018. 2017, I skipped it. I said to myself, screw it. I'm taking my time and relaxing at home. I'm thinking about covering it. Going in undercover incognito, if I can, seeing the reactions of the people that I used to talk to. That'd be very interesting. And last but not least, if you are interested in supporting the Patreon account, leave some comments below about some stuff that you would like to see. I really love hearing and reading the comments and getting the messages from you guys. I'm also on Instagram and some social media. Link down in the comments. Link down in the description below. Come follow me. Say hello to me. Please note, I do get a lot of messages, so my responses will be a little delayed. And if you're asking for help, please, it would help if you give me a brief description of what's going on versus just asking me, what do I do? It helps me out and I will get to them eventually. Until next time, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video.